Good morning, good afternoon, Bodo Weber. You are the you, you are the senior associate of the Democratization Policy Center based in Berlin. We had today a very interesting discussion for two lo two hours with a delegation from the, the from members of the Parliament of Kosovo from various parties and also from the civil society. We had a long discussion about the stance of Kosovo regarding the dialogue with Serbia. So mm -hmm. could you tell us more about this project in particular? Well, you know, my organization uh, advocates uh, for EU integration of the Western Balkans for a long time, unfortunately a process that has been fallen victim uh, within this crisis decade of the EU the last 10 years, a little bit into the, of this so-called enlargement fatigue and of the EU, you know, while having seized leadership, Western leadership on the Balkans uh, around 2005, 2006, um, enlargement not having been, you know, high on the agenda due mm. to, to other real uh, hot mm. topics and political challenges, both, you know, globally and within the EU. So, um, and in that context, you know, of course, the question of unresolved status disputes that, that uh, you had the chance, you know, to, to, to finalize the job that, that mm -hmm. under the 1990s U.S. leadership were commenced. Uh, we unfortunately did not see much progress, we even saw backtracking, and uh, um, due to, you know, a policy of more, you know, stability or fake stability of maintaining status quo, we, we, that had led to a few security crises mm -hmm. over the last decade and one one was security crisis in Kosovo in 2011. And, uh, that crisis led to, to basically German and British, together with Brits and the, the Americans, German leadership in trying to solve mm -hmm. the long-term status dispute with, between Kosovo and Serbia. That is really a, a threat to stability mm -hmm. of the whole region and, and to a sustainable uh, both democratic and market economic or social market economic transformation of the societies of the region. So with the political dialogue that it was initiated, initiated based on this uh, German, you know, seasoned leadership. Um, went into a very good direction. We were supporting as an organization from the beginning, both because in the way it moved the EU to take a decisive policy initiative, and because it uh, drew the right conclusions from previous failed attempts by the West, you know, or international community to solve this dispute between Serbia and Kosovo because of Serbia's nationalist virtual policy which never really wanted to negotiate about Kosovo in which Albanians, you know, are, are their citizens and at the same time did not want to accept that Kosovo has been lost. Um, some compromise, classical compromise solution did not prove mm -hmm. feasible and that's the reason why, why you know, the independence, the the majority in the West concluded that the only viable solution is by formalizing the fact that Kosovo has gone from Serbia. And the dialogue, you know, in the dialogue very early on, um, basically uh, the key member states, mm -hmm. they linked as a condition Serbia's EU aspiration with the fact which political elites in Serbia know for very long that Kosovo de facto is gone, so it's basically accepting that mm -hmm. reality. So this was a very, you know, good process at the beginning, but unfortunately, since there was no serious long-time strategy behind mm -hmm. and some attention by the member states got lost since the signing of the 2013 April Agreement. Um, unfortunately, that process went in the, into a crisis. Uh, so last mm -hmm. year, when this process hit a, a wall in Brussels negotiation, that was announced the start of so-called new phase mm -hmm. of the dialogue. Basically, you know, the jumping to the end point, not a gradual process of normalization, mm -hmm and EU integration, which was the original idea that unfortunately did not materialize. Mm -hmm. But jumping to the end point and uh, negotiating over a final and comprehensive agreement on full normalization between Kosovo and Serbia. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, is about the political background. Um, mm -hmm. The reason why we started this initiative, which is called Strengthening the Kosovo Perspective, is because uh, the EU, supported by the US, is facing probably three challenges uh, with mm -hmm. this endeavor of the, these negotiations that have not yet started, while well, one is in convincing the key people in Brussels that, that this process is necessary, that means Ms. Mogherini and her team, and that they need to lead this process as a political one and not as a bureaucratic mm -hmm. one of facilitation. 
Um, there is, of course, a problem with Serbia that has used the U.S. weakness mm -hmm. and this long one-year period before the real start of negotiations to try to lobby for something that had already been off the table, like uh, ter ter territorial integrity, putting the territorial integrity of Kosovo in question. Mm -hmm. But the third problem, you know, at the same time is that through this whole long and travise of Kosovo becoming a state and, and uh, having a democratic system without a, a state that is f uh, enjoying full territorial integrity and, and, and sovereignty and probably still a, a, a supervised, you mm -hmm. know, independent state. Um, there is this problem, you know, that this uh, conflict and uh, uh, conflict lines, the uh, antagonization internal one between the political actors mm -hmm. has really, you know, reached a point where Western capitals fear that, you know, Kosovo might not be a credible mm -hmm. negotiating party. And this could be, you know, particularly uh, tragic because mm -hmm. um, the, at the, is the, at, in this process of negotiating, it will primarily be, you know, about that Serbia needs to. Mm -hmm. give many things on the status uh, and not so much what Kosovo needs to give so it would be tragic you know if mm -hmm. um, the EU uh, gets its acts together um, really you know puts the real conditions to Serbia and Serbia accepts what initially they accepted in 2013 and even mm -hmm. high level public officials admit it at that time after mm -hmm. signing of the April agreement and public statements unheard before that Kosovo is gone and that you need to face that reality in, mm -hmm. in, in real politics that, you know, if, if all this happens, is set up, then the, the Kosovars don't have their act together. So this was the reason to start this initiative and what mm -hmm. we're doing here as a, from a civil society point of view is not to tell Kosovo uh, policymakers, of course, what their negotiating position should be because that's mm -hmm. not the role of, of civil society, but uh, through a, a series of roundtables mm -hmm. and policy notes in Pristina, of which we've already had two or five, uh, to serve, try to serve as a catalyzer for, mm -hmm. you know, the, the parliamentary parties or the majority of them coming together around a starting negotiating position. And then of also, you know, as there is this big confusion mm -hmm. since uh, the, this announcement last summer of the new phase, even in Serbia and even in European countries about, you know, what is this process really about? Mm -hmm. Are the capitals really serious? Because as I said, uh, the Preparations have not been completed, so the public messaging could mm -hmm. not start. Um, we have an, uh, we have decided to have an outreach component to, to bring those people we assemble in, in, in Kosovo together with our partners in Kosovo, the Kosovo Foundation for Open Society and the Group for Legal and Political Studies, mm -hmm. not only together in Pristina, but to do a series of uh, EU and Western um, key capital outreach trips to you know, both uh, have a dialogue on Kosovo's perspective mm -hmm. uh, to, on the negotiations, but also um, to have a dialogue and hear, you know, from capitals and from okay. governments, like in Paris and go next to, to Berlin, of, you know, how serious they see this process and, 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 and what, is, what is their position on the whole process. Okay, thank you very much. We are going to see that also at the European Council at the end of the week. What really European Union thinks about all this process? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you.